This script was extremely well crafted, which is it's sort of rare, you know. It's not something that's in abundance these days. It was well crafted, it was elegant, it had a simple elegance to it that was appealing to me. It had a first time writer and a first time director, which kind of fits comfortably with what I believe in supporting. And so, what better way than to put your money where your mouth is and get in it? Wayne is a character that is uh, symbolic in the sense that he is a character following the American dream. So I guess what comes into question is the American dream. You know, what does that mean today? As opposed to what it meant, you know, a while ago. Maybe during the war years when the American dream was pretty well clear. And it was something that everybody wanted to work for. And now I think a lot of people are feeling that there's a, another side to the American dream in terms of what it costs people. What is the cost of pursuing the American dream? When issues of family, <clears throat> relationships come into play, does the drive to fulfill or pursue the American dream override considerations that you don't put enough emphasis during the time because you're working so hard and then find out late in your career um, that you might have missed something in that pursuit? You could say that these are uh, actually one and the same character and that they're both in pursuit of the American dream, one from a darker side and the other from a more conventional side. And they clash when he becomes Arnold, the other guy becomes uh, the part that Willem plays, um, becomes disenfranchised or, or realizes that he's really an irrelevant character. And I, I would imagine there are a lot of people in America that feel that, even, even um, successful people that have had success, like my character did and who achieve so much and, and strive for the things that they think are important only to find out it's kind of a synthetic victory. And, um, and then they have to face issues of irrelevance because they no longer, <clears throat> they no longer have the vehicle to, to satisfy their drive, so they, they make the devil's bargain to become a senior advisor to something or a consultant. <clears throat> and I think in many ways a consultant is a, some, a pseudonym for non-commitment. <clears throat> when you have a character that's pursued the American dream with a kind of drive and ambition, who no longer has anything to fulfill that, then what happens? Then I think the trouble starts. We came into North Carolina and I said, well, why are we going into North Carolina? I mean, I think that's great. I've heard a lot of great things about North Carolina, but why are you going there? And he said, well, because the season is very much guaranteed there. It's, it's predictable. We know we're gonna have good weather. We know we're going to have the fall colors, and it'll be a perfect uh, place to, to film because the director wanted a certain kind of forest to shoot in. So, of course, it rained every day. And, and what was beautiful and, and scenic turned into mud, which brought a whole new dimension to the film.